got this kit from Amazon and of course I'll leave the link in the description box so it came with all these things here and of course I'll tell you but I didn't really want to just get a candle making kit from like one of these suppliers that these known suppliers candle science pro candle all these different types of candle suppliers because one a lot of them they didn't have it in stock when I wanted to buy it and then two I wanted to get it from Amazon and it was like super quick super excited with that anywho this is the 100% soy wax DIY candle making kit I think I would definitely recommend this actually just because it comes with a lot of things that you're definitely looking for in a kit all right so basically what comes in a kit is pretty much everything that's listed here right so it comes with the four die blocks which are these so it comes with red green blue and purple so those also it comes with four fragrances now i was really really searching for a specific candle making kit that had like really good fragrances that i think i would have wanted to work with you know on my line or my candle collection so it comes with sage and these are like pretty decent size. I think these are, yeah, these are a third of an ounce. 10 milliliters, sweet orange, lavender, and sandalwood. Yeah, sandalwood smells like baby powder and sage smells like sage. <laughs> All right, so next it comes with the soy wax, which is 2.2 pounds here. Okay, and then it comes with the thermometer. You can fold it and adjust it however you need to. That's pretty nice comes with this pouring pitcher. It comes with these tins, silver little tins. I believe I want to say that these are maybe four ounces. Comes with 50 of these cotton wicks, which is pretty nice. Very, very generous. Comes with these wick holders, four. It also comes with these popsicle sticks. So it comes with, yeah, four of the A warning stickers. How big they are, which are pretty decent size. Also, it comes with 50 of wick stickers. So they created like a little manual for if you're brand new, like I am, I've never done candles before, never made any before. So it just literally tells you exactly how to make a candle. And I love them. It also tells you your supply list here. It tells you the candle burning time, which is actually pretty nice. And like I said, it just walks you step by step step on how to create a candle. So I thought that was pretty nice and thoughtful. Let's get into the candle making. One thing that I didn't mention, probably something that you may need actually is a scale. So I already had one of these just from cooking and all that kind of stuff. So I will be using mine. All right, as y'all saw earlier, I already have my tin and I have the wick and the sticker already centered as you can see here. So I'm ready to go. I'm gonna put that back on here. Get that centered and situated. I actually might be testing out these dye blocks. Actually, I will. So I'm gonna do green. I don't really wanna do purple. I don't know, I might do purple. Green, purple. You know what, I might even just test them all out, okay? I, I might just do that just to see how they work out. So I'm gonna get everything situated, get my wax weighed out. You know, I did not weigh out my wax. I'm probably gonna do that off camera. And then I wanna mix my different essential oils. I don't wanna do one of each. I wanna do some mixtures here. Like I wanna do sage and maybe lavender or I don't know, sandalwood, lavender, and sage. I don't know. I just wanna do some mixtures. I don't wanna do one of each, like I said, so. Oh. 
Right now, the wax is completely melted and it's showing that it's at 174.7. I'm just stirring and just letting it cool down a little bit because, let's see, the instruction says to pour your fragrance oil in around like 115 to like 125. It has a ways to go. Cooling down, it's right now it's at 150.6. I am going to put in the color. Let's see what this looks like. That's what the color looks like. It's a very faint green. Still looks kind of yellow. Right now it is showing 132.9. Right now. And remember we have to get it down to between 113 and 122. Okay, the temperature says it's 121.8. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit longer, um, even though it's within the range of 113 to 122, but I'm gonna just let it get below 120. Let's see if that makes a difference. So it's 121.2. All right, it's at 119.8. So, I'm gonna take this out. 